If you've ever thought about going back in time, all you have to do is look up at the night sky. Since the stars twinkling, there are actually images of the distant past. This is due to the fact that even the light from the nearest of those stars, planets and galaxies can take tens of thousands of years to reach Earth. Undoubtedly, the universe is a big place. But how big exactly is it? Humanity once believed that the night sky was the unilluminated sphere that enclosed Earth when the sun was sleeping. Prior to the widespread development, the stars simply served as the most accurate calendar. When you look at them in the sky, the sun and moon appear to be almost the same size, but this is really a coincidence caused by the fact that the sun is both 400 times larger and 400 times farther away than the moon. Even though it seems close, there are 30 Earths worth of space between us and the moon. It would take a half year to get there at highway speeds. However, our star sun is truly enormous. It only appears small in the sky because it is 150 million kilometers away. It would take over two years to go from one side to the other at highway speeds. The sun is a monster compared to Earth. It is a massive nuclear fusion reactor with enough hydrogen fuel to burn continuously for a further 4 billion years. The distances are so big that a large unit of distance is required, and that is why astronomers use light years. According to Einstein's law of conservation of mass, the universe's highest speed limit is called the speed of light. As you approach speed of light, the energy spent to accelerate your speed becomes mass. If you could actually travel at the speed of light, the mass would expand to the point where it becomes limitless, requiring the use of infinite energy to travel faster. Thus, since light is made up of massless particles called photons, the only thing that can practically reach speed of light is light itself. So using the fastest thing possible, light, and how quickly it travels in a period of time, we have a measurement method for long distances. Light travels back to Earth from the Moon in around 1.3 seconds. In other words, the Moon is 1.3 light seconds away from the Earth. The Sun's light travels to us in 8.3 minutes on average. As a result, we always see the Sun as it was about 8.3 minutes ago. Mars's distance from Earth changes because it orbits the planet in a different way. We use light minutes rather than light seconds since it is much farther away than the Moon. Sending light, or radio, communications from Earth to Mars takes more than 3 minutes when they are near together, and more than 22 minutes when they are far apart. We say the distance lies between 3.11 and 22.27 light minutes. On average, that is almost 1,000 times farther than the Moon is from Earth. The distance to Neptune, our furthest planet, is measured in light hours. Neptune is approximately four light hours from the Sun. Voyager 1 and 2 are currently located around 21 light hours and 18 light hours away from Earth in 2022. Across our Milky Way galaxy, distances are measured in terms of how many years it takes light to travel. A light year is a unit of measurement for distance rather than time. Light moves at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second, covering 9 trillion kilometers in a single year. That's a light year. So, for example, the star Alpha Centauri is 4.4 light years away from us, so a beam of light would take 4.4 years to get from Earth to Alpha Centauri. We use light years because it's much more convenient than using large numbers like 41.32 trillion kilometers, which is equivalent to 4.467 light years. We are seeing the light that left that star four years previously and is just reaching us now. Even further out in space and time are the galaxies. The Milky Way galaxy, where we reside, cannot be fully captured in a photograph. Hence, you have never seen it. 
What you have seen are depictions of what we believe it to look like, or examples of other galaxies that we believe to be similar to our own. From edge to edge, our galaxy is around 100,000 light years away. It would take longer than the age of the entire universe for us to launch a camera outside the galaxy far enough to take the image, and it would take many centuries for the radio waves to return to us carrying the image. Andromeda, our closest large neighbor galaxy, is located roughly 2.5 million light years away. We refer it the group of more than 50 nearby galaxies as the local group. This globe has a diameter of 10 million light years. Many are smaller, while some are larger than the Milky Way. Most of them also have hundreds of billions of stars on their own. At roughly 60 million light years from the Milky Way, the Virgo cluster of galaxies is the largest nearest group of galaxies. The light we see today from galaxies in the Virgo cluster started on its path toward us at the same time as the age of the dinosaurs was ending on Earth. If you were in a Virgo cluster galaxy today and you had a telescope powerful enough to study the Earth, you would be able to see the prehistoric reptiles. However, as we travel even farther, the Virgo supercluster becomes minuscule in comparison to the Laniakea supercluster, which is approximately 500 million light years across and has at least 100,000 galaxies. Is it that big? No, not in comparison to the observable universe. There are about two trillion galaxies in the region of the cosmos that we can observe. Even the Laniakea supercluster appears to be a tiny speck of dust in this image. The distance to the farthest point in the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years. That is obviously older than the universe itself, which is only roughly 13.8 billion years old. How is that possible? In simple terms, the universe is expanding because of a process we don't fully understand. And as a result, an object's distance from the observer decreases as it gets farther away. As a temporary measure until we have an explanation for the phenomenon, we now refer to dark energy and dark matter as the forces behind it. Dark matter and dark energy have never been observed or measured. What is known is that something causes the cosmos to grow, and at its furthest reaches, space expands so quickly that it exceeds the ability of light to cross that space. That means that our universe's edges are moving away from us faster than their light can reach us. Gradually, these edges are disappearing from view. Beyond a certain distance, light cannot travel fast enough to ever reach us. As a result, the light-emitting object practically vanishes for us forever. Physics prevents us from looking outside of the observable universe. Whether the cosmos is finite or infinite cannot be determined with certainty, but scientists agree that it is really huge. It's amazing how big the universe is and how much of it we can't even see, but that doesn't stop scientists from looking further for answers. Perhaps we won't be able to figure out. A telescope may travel through time. It is like looking back in time to look out into space. It sounds magical, but it's actually very simple. Light moves so quickly that it seems to happen instantly in our daily lives. Traveling anywhere in the galaxy still requires some time even at these incredible speeds. Gamma rays, radio waves, and all other wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum are all emitted by galaxies. All of them provide important information about the different physics occurring in a galaxy. We can observe some light spectrums with space-based telescopes that are blocked by Earth's atmosphere. 
The Hubble Space Telescope was designed and optimized to use both ultraviolet and visible parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to use a broad range of infrared light. And this is a key reason the James Webb can see further back in time than Hubble. The impact of dark energy on the expansion of the universe increases with its size. This explains why the universe, despite being 13.8 billion years old, is actually 93 billion light years across. On a galactic scale, inside the Milky Way, we are unable to observe the impact of dark energy, but we can do so across far greater cosmological distances. We are in an amazing technological era. We weren't aware that there were galaxies outside of our own until just a century ago. Now that we know there are trillions, we have an abundance of options. The James Webb will continue to lead us on weekly adventures through space and time for the foreseeable future. And here's a good news for you. If you want to stay up to date, then you can subscribe to our channel for all the latest news about James Webb Space Telescope as we bring you the latest web discoveries every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment down your views and opinions about what lies beyond the observable universe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.